Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another set of videos in which we continue to learn about Business Central. Uh, today's video is going to be quick and short because we're just going to touch base on the actual module of human resources. It's a small module within Business Central uh, that you can utilize. Uh, you can do quick setups with it, uh, but obviously the HR module that is available from Dynamics 365 is a standalone uh, that uh, is also uh, something that Microsoft has really invested in. Uh, unfortunately, it was part of finance and operation at one point, which was taken out as a standalone app, which ended up being called Talent, which then got reinvented into Dynamics 365 Human Resources. And now Microsoft has finally realized that the HR and the finance systems have to talk to each other. So the standalone app had very difficulties with the integration with other finance uh, finance modules out there like business central for instance and finance and operation so what they've decided now is to actually bring back the standalone hr module back into the finance and operation so they're going to merge that infrastructure and create one uh, big platform that they already had at one point but now the investment is going to go towards that so the standalone dynamics 365 hr module or app it will uh, phased out by next year or so, uh, just like how talent got phased out by HR, and now the Dynamics 365 HR standalone will get phased out uh, by the finance and operation uh, merger. Uh, but for that, uh, it doesn't really affect uh, what is available in Business Central. Uh, so there is quite a bit of things that you can use. Obviously, payroll doesn't exist, doesn't come with the license of Business Central, so you will need to integrate that as part of your employees if you want to pay them. So I have had clients that uh, have built the HR system. Uh, so it requires obviously uh, backend coding if you really want to build the HR system of Business Central uh, that would capture like time time and attendance and absences and uh, time management and benefits and et cetera. So all of that can be built of course, uh, but it requires a lot of time and resources. But for the Fundamentals, the basics that are available, the very small module within Business Central that is available, we'll walk our way through it, we'll learn a few things, and uh, we can see what is actually available in Business Central. So uh, in Business Central, you can actually keep detailed records of your employees. So uh, you can either search employees here, you know, I have a bookmark. Uh, you can also register and maintain the employee information. So we'll look at that, how we can do that. It's very similar to uh, creating a vendor card and a customer card, for instance, or any other card that would reside within Business Central. So it's basically called a card, so you can e easily create an employee card. So within that employee card, we can obviously keep track of the contracts, if there are any uh, associated with that employee, you know, confidential information can be stored in there, any of the qualifications or even uh, uh, contacts, uh, emergency contacts that are um, applicable to that employee. So you can all um, create a, a repository, you could say, uh, that's available in Business Central. Uh, but you, you can also register uh, employee absences to some extent. Uh, we'll see how that works actually, but it's not something that uh, you know you simply request a leave of absence and then it goes to uh, the supervisor, they approve, and then it kind of gets hit the at the payroll side, and then uh, you reduce the number of vacations or absences on an employee record. So it's not like that kind of a process. Obviously, that's very applicable to the actual HR modules, but uh, in here, at least you can capture that as a repository. You can capture that information in here. So a lot of talking, I guess. Uh, so let's actually show uh, show you how the system actually works. So search either, uh, the first thing you're gonna search is a uh, human resource setup. So, you know, you can always go up here. I have actually bookmarked. So, you know, I'm just gonna go into human resources setup. And this is the simple setup, the simplest setup you can ever find within Business Central, which you would have to do. Uh, for employees, uh, you would have to assign them an employee number. So go back to one of my uh, uh, one of my videos, uh, which talks about number series. So this is where you're gonna uh, create or configure number series, and then here you can assign it. So let's just do this uh, here quickly. So these are all the number series that are configured in the system. So you can always create an employee one, and then the base unit uh, of measures. So you would have to decide either uh, their hourly uh, or salary employees. So you would have to make sure that the unit of measure is selected. You can always have it 
configured as well. Uh, so human resources units will measure here. So you know day or hour or salary, and then you can give uh, them the actual quantity of money there. In addition uh, to that, there are a few things that uh, I don't normally use. All right, so uh, nothing that uh, uh, that I would need uh, for my client because it's not a full on HR module. So nothing that I would uh, be configuring in these. Uh, but we can always uh, go into different tabs, uh, talk about unions. You know, any collective agreements that uh, they need to store will go into unions. Uh, any relatives, for instance, you can have a repository for relatives and their qualifications, as, a, as I had mentioned earlier. Uh, so some of the miscellaneous articles, that's more like a, a repository um, ability for Visa Central. So that's the simplest setup you can have. And then at this point, you know, you kind of get the setup. Now we can go into the actual employees. So you can search up employees. You know, I've bookmarked it. I always like to bookmark it because these are the things that I'm going to use the most. And you can start creating employees. So I've created some of the employees, this is dummy data. Uh, so we'll, let's walk our way through it and see how it actually looks like. So very similar to vendor cards and customer cards. And let's open up that card. Uh, so a picture of an employee can be here, any attachments associated with it, of course. Uh, the number series, uh, it, it, uh, I didn't really configure uh, the number series associated with the actual ones that we put in. So, you know, kind of put in a manual one here. That's the UCAH instead of EMP. Uh, we can have a first name and then job title and all these are text fields. So anything that you would need to identify or capture for your employee. Um, all of that is very self-intuitive. So you don't really need to go field by field to understand uh, the usage of those. Uh, so date of birth, for instance, even social security number. Uh, so there's no limit on this in, uh, per se uh, in terms of uh, Figuring out uh, for the system to know that, that this social insurance or social security number exists or not. So that is not uh, applicable, but uh, they, you can easily insert uh, the values. Yeah. But in different modules <clears throat> like finance and operation, you can at least configure that and make sure that the numbers are added, uh, not touch the letters, or it should be nine digits, for instance. And you can have that, but in here, unfortunately, the business center doesn't allow you simply a field, a text field, and you can insert anything. So somebody else would have to really go into the system and uh, verify that the social insurance number is correct. Uh, so the posting group, of course, these are usually used for uh, the postings uh, that you would do as an expense of an employee. Uh, so uh, if you want to go into the journals and you know you have this as the resource assigned to some projects, for instance, and you run the project module, uh, so you will use this posting group. So if you don't know how to uh, create posting groups, you know, visit one of my videos and then you should know actually how and what is the applicable way of using these posting groups. Uh, so that covers the employee card. Uh, there are a few things that you can go in. So th as you can see, there's a pay employee, but obviously this is, has to do with integration. Uh, if the, there's no payroll associated with it, the payroll module, so if you need to integrate that before you can actually utilize such, such a uh, function. Uh, but I don't know exactly why that is even there, but it should it could be a built-in uh, function. Uh, you can obviously assign dimensions. So, you know, you want to connect the finance and the HR system. So through dimensions where, where you do it, uh, attachments, same thing where we saw just uh, beside uh, the details. So it's the same field. And then ledger entries, so any entries that were associated with this resource, uh, you can easily navigate your way through and then find those ledger entries as well. Uh, confidential information, uh, as we have talked about, you can uh, put in the confidential information here. You can have security roles associated with it and see how many people who's allowed to go into that system, uh, into that system, into that employee record, and then find the confidential information. So not all, everybody can see that. That's why they, it's called confidential information. You can always contact, add a contact information, their qualifications. And if you were going to function, so we can apply a template actually. So if you want to create a template, a standard template that actually has some of the information uh, that you would need to capture, just like how vendor templates are created or customer customer templates are created, you can have the posting groups, for instance, uh, configured in that. So we can use that template every time we create an employee card. A useful uh, function that is out there that are available for uh, the consultants and the actual users who are going to use the system. So under employee, there's quite a few things that we 
we can do. Um, a lot of them are very repetitive, like you know dimensions or picture, for instance. Uh, you can even you know, add a relatives if you would like to. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much it, to be honest. In terms of the HR module, it's very small. Um, it is more like a repository, as I mentioned, uh, something that we uh, wouldn't really use or utilize to its full potential unless we actually have uh, some sort of built-in uh, payroll systems and some of the extensions using the development uh, aspect of the Business Central. Uh, but that covers the HR module. Uh, hopefully you learned something uh, useful. Uh, but the next video, we're going to start uh, going a little bit more detail into the other modules of, uh, of Business Central.